from a nation with the highest population of sex workers to another torn apart by 40 years of civil war. Sarah Bowling is at work trying to meet the needs of those who need it most. Here's her story. Sarah Bowling is the daughter of world-renowned Bible teacher Marilyn Hickey. Their daily television program Today with Marilyn and Sarah is broadcast in 130 countries. Sarah is also the founder of Saving Moses, a global missions organization committed to reducing infant deaths. Saving Moses provides nutrition clinics in Africa and a facility in Asia that allows young children to stay safe and off the streets at night. Sarah Bowling is with us now, and Sarah, we welcome you to the thank show you, this thank morning. You, thank you, thank you. How did you get started with this? What was it that initially touched your heart sure. so deeply? I was in an orphanage in Ethiopia, and I learned of these newborn baby girls, twins, Sarah and Ruth. They were abandoned on a field, mm -hmm. and the orphanages had said, you know, we don't have the resources to take care of these babies. And so um, this one that I was staying in said, well, you know, we'll take them, because the police said, we have to put the babies back on the field. And I was like, that's insane. So I went to visit these babies. They'd only been there, you know, a couple days, maybe a week. And I was just, it just unraveled me. My daughter was with me at the time. She wow. was about nine years old. And I was like, it just completely unraveled me. So yeah. from that time on, and Jesus says, for the least of these. So, so they would have actually put those babies back in the field. I know, I know. And that, I just was like, that, I thought that's, that's I, can't, I can't get my head around that. Yeah, it I is just, hard to wrap your brain around uh, that. Totally. So why the problem with the, there are orphanages, sure. but what was the dilemma you saw? Sure, and what happens is the resources that most orphanages have, mm -hmm. they use to as many people, babies as they, not babies, but kids as they can. Yes. So babies and toddlers take the most resources. Right, so you have, the, and you think about it, a baby requires the most care, the most immediate. So what orphanages are forced to do is take the resources that they have to meet the most needs that they can. Yeah. And so consequently, they don't meet babies and you know, they, yeah. they're not wired up for that wow. as much. It's a wonder that as many children survive as do, isn't it? Sure, it totally is. Yeah, quite a, quite a miracle. You're in several countries with Saving Moses now, the, the name of your organization, based on the biblical story yes. of yes. Moses. Yes. Um, you know, here he was also, left not in a field, but in a river. Right. And rescued and grew up to lead a nation. I mean, is that right. part of the vision for you? That so I think what happens, and the Holy Spirit gave me this title, Saving Moses, you know, and Moses was about three months old mm -hmm. in the Nile River when Pharaoh's daughter collected him. Right, yeah. But if you fast forward and you think all the things that God did through Moses, the yeah. Pentateuch, the Ten Commandments, the Red Sea, I mean, pick something. Yeah. But all of that was hanging by a thread when he was three months old. Yeah. And that's what I felt the Holy Spirit say to me, you know, Sarah, you have no idea what the potential is for each and every baby. Yeah. You have no clue. So let's, let's help the least of these yeah. and see what happens in the future. So where did you, once, once you saw this need and you began the work that you're so involved in today, you wound up going to Cambodia as one of the countries that you work in, right. some specific needs there that some right. people might find you know, difficult to comprehend, but I you've know. seen it firsthand, talk I about know. that. So we do what we call night care. And in America, we have day care for moms who work you know, in the day. Mm -hmm. But at nighttime in Cambodia, particularly very, very poor countries, these moms have no other income, way to earn an income than through prostitution. Yeah. And so what happens is these babies are at work with their moms. So they're, some of them are even on the bed as mom is serving say, the literally client. with their moms. Exactly. Yeah. Or they're chained under the bed or they're left abandoned, you know, because the moms don't have the resources to take care of these yeah. babies. And this is why they're in the industry in the first place. <laughs> Somebody's got to feed those babies. Exactly. exactly. And so we have what yeah. we call night care. So we have four night care centers in Cambodia. We'll open our fifth in the next couple of months. Wow. Going to Bangladesh in January to open night care there. And Wanna... what does a night care center look like, Sarah? Yeah, so wonderful. Oh, my goodness. So a mom will bring her baby to, to us uh, wow. about between around 6 o'clock at night before she goes to work. 
she comes, we get the little babies, oh, and we have uh, houses that we rent, and you know, we have four workers per, or four babies per worker. Mm -hmm. So we give them a bath, we give them dinner, we have circle time, we get to teach them the ABCs, you know, yeah. my language. And, and then we do some stuff, you know, the cross before me, the world. So we do some fun stuff with them. And then we put them down and go to sleep. And then the moms collect them in the morning when they're done working. So when we give the baby back to mom, the baby's clean, rested, well fed, the clothes are clean that they brought in. So it's, it's really helping to the least of these. And there's no more least of the least than the baby of a prostitute. Well, and I have to think that when a woman who has been forced into prostitution by her material needs, just sure. daily physical needs, sure. sees all of this, that her heart is open to the exactly. message herself. Exactly. And there's all kinds of resources for these women, for the moms, but there's not one organization devoted to these babies. Yeah. And so when you reach a mom's heart, the way to her heart, course is through her baby. Absolutely. So. You're also in Angola. Boy, that's a country that has seen so Oof. much strife yeah. and unrest. Yeah. What's happening there? So we have malnutrition centers in Angola. Uh, we have six malnutrition centers and uh, we really get to minister physical to the immediate physical needs because most of these babies without malnutrition formula, mm -hmm. they'll literally starve to death. Yeah. Um, How awful. Yeah, and, and so you see that and the life-giving difference that we get to make there every single day. Yeah. It's, that's, a tough, that's a tough place to and go. And Afghanistan as well. You know, that's a part of the world that we hear so much about that's negative, sure. but you're doing something very positive. Exactly. Curse the darkness or light a candle. Yep. <laughs> and I'd rather light the candle, right? Amen. So we go into rural Afghanistan and give uh, training for healthy deliveries. We also immunize the infants and stuff because they don't have resources like well, that. And so in, in a culture like that, so often women are forced to stay in their homes. So sure. they're giving birth in unsanitary oh scenarios, yeah. not knowing what they're doing. Exactly. I mean, if and the baby losing survives, babies. it's a miracle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and if the mom survives, it's good, you know. Yes, yeah, yes, totally. exactly. The, mm -hmm. the life of the mom as well. How can people help? What are your needs? So uh, Saving Moses, you know, we our care is where the need is most urgent and the care is least available, and for babies, zero to five. So we have a website. Uh, it's a great place to kind of look and see what we get to do. I take teams with me every July. Um, you get to, to hold babies. Yes. How fun is that? Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. And play and have fun. Yeah. And so all kinds of ways to get involved. Yeah. Investing yourself in the next yep. generation around the world. Well, Sarah, thank you for thank being you. with us. I want you to know you can learn more about Sarah's work in Saving Moses by going to CBN.com. It's all right there, and we hope you'll do that. Great effort, thank you. Sarah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.